Do you struggle with change? All of us have things we want to change, but even when we think we're ready, change can be challenging, especially for our clients. I'm Angie Miller. I'm an NASM Master Instructor and Mental Health Therapist. I work with clients in fitness and mental health who say they're ready for change. But what we want to know is, how ready are they? Are they fully committed or are they still ambivalent? Today, I'm going to share two rulers for motivational interviewing and how we can use them to demonstrate a client's motivation to change. Rulers help us meet a client where they're at so we don't push them before they're ready. Let's say a client comes to us because they say that they want to start exercising, but when it comes to diet, they don't want to make any changes. When we hear this as trainers, we might want to tell them why this won't work or fix them or persuade them that diet matters too. But the truth is we're all more intrinsically motivated to change when it's our idea, not someone else's. And when we feel like we're being supported rather than told what to do. And that's how rulers can help. They give us, they give clients personal autonomy and they build their intrinsic motivation to achieve their goals. So let's start with the readiness or importance ruler. The first question goes like this. On a scale of zero to 10, where zero is not at all important and 10 is very important, how important is it for you to, say, adjust your diet? Let's say the client says six. Then we ask, why are you at a six and not a three? We're asking the client why they're not at a lower number versus a higher number because we want to encourage them, not make them feel bad. We want them to focus on what's working and talk about change in a positive way. If we were to ask why they're not at, say, a 10, a higher number, they'd probably get defensive and feel defeated and focus on what's not working. So then we can ask, how high does that number need to be for you to be ready to adjust your diet, let's say? If they say it needs to be a seven, then we can ask, what would it take to get you there? What would it take to get you to a seven? The idea is that they're looking for solutions rather than us giving them solutions. They're doing the heavy lifting, which is really the way it needs to be for someone to commit to change. So to evaluate readiness for change, we can also use another type of ruler, a scaling ruler, and that gauges confidence and commitment as well. So first we could ask, on a scale of zero to 10, where zero is the bottom, not at all, and 10 is the top, how important is it for you to say, lose 10 pounds? Maybe their doctor told them to lose weight, but they haven't really bought in. If it's important that we want to know why, we want it to align with their core values because change isn't easy. So then we could ask on a scale of zero to 10, how confident are you that you could lose 10 pounds? A client might believe that change is important, but based on their history or perceived obstacles, they might not feel fully confident they can do it. And then last, in the current moment, on a scale of zero to 10, how committed are you to doing that? There's a difference between being confident that I can do something and actually committing to doing it. It's the commitment piece that helps clients cross the line. So if your client says a nine on importance, you know that importance isn't something you need to spend time on. But if they say a two on confidence or commitment, you know that's where you need to spend time. The underlying goal of motivational interviewing is to encourage clients to talk themselves into making positive change. And rulers can help build intrinsic motivation that they need to reach their goals. So I'm Angie Miller. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.